Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Get, been getting a lot of showers today. Sitting at 77 degrees right now. Sun kind of coming in and out, but the main thing is been getting some much needed rain, which is knocking our fire hazard way down right here, which is good because uh, we are in drier conditions. And if you watch my previous couple of shorts, uh, that leads to some devastating consequences. But all's good here. So I'd like to show you guys over time how some of these batteries that I've been running out here do over the long term. And here's uh, a revisit to the Time USB brand. This is their 24 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Uh, this one continues to work absolutely famously as does another model that I'm going to show you and do a little more in-depth uh, revisit. And taking a peek, 100% full, early in the day, use this every single day, zero issues with that, continues to work great. And while we don't have uh, quite the year's use on that 24 volt system, uh, we've got just about a year's use on this 12.8 volt, 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery from Time USB. And if you go back and want to look at the earlier review I did on this, a full review, uh, I got a lot of uh, correspondence between Time USB and myself on some questions I had on this particular battery. Uh, we have been using this 24-7 for the past almost one year now. And this has those cattle cells in it. And I posed many, many questions about those particular cells being used in here uh, and found out that they were used cells and got great explanations from the company about their stringent testing about those type of cells and where they came from. And uh, their response was so good and it went into great detail, lots of technical detail about the stringent testing uh, that they do on these. And now I notice that they uh, actually sell uh, batteries that they call second hand and they go through all the same rigorous testing and I just wanted to let you guys know that there's no fear about buying uh, used cells at all. Uh, these things are still warranted, have an incredible lifespan and this thing has just never missed a beat. You know this is 200 amp hour worth of storage right there. Actually, it is oversized and has about 230 amp hour capacity. And we use it every single day and have for about the past year. And over the past year while using this battery, it has been tied into several different systems around here. As you guys know, I shuffle batteries around, uh, keep testing them on different uh, components and right now it is currently tied into what I'm calling uh, just on the Victron log because I am running the the Victron MPPT 7515 as the charge controller and the Phoenix 12 volt 375 12 volt pure sine wave inverter. So uh, we're going to take a look at the log. I've got a nice log to be able to look at to show how this thing is working a year later. Like I said, it's, it's just working really great. But my, my main point of this video is to remind you guys that there are some great deals out there with so-called second-hand batteries. Now, Time USB is actually labeling some of their lineup right now as second-hand batteries. And this was a second-hand battery because it was previously 
Uh, the cells inside of there were previously used in EV buses for a thousand or so cycles before they uh, refurbished uh, the use from that and dropped them into this nice battery that you can just charge up thousands and thousands of times. And you're going to get many, many years out of this and save yourself some money. So I have talked with other companies as well with some of these other batteries that we've reviewed. And although a lot of companies don't promote uh, the, the use of secondhand batteries, if you contact them and ask them, they usually do have some secondhand batteries that have been either returned to them for, you know, a malfunction that they corrected. They still warranty them. So um, if you're thinking about jumping into one of these type of systems and you're really pinching pennies, you can pick one of these type of batteries up, lithium iron phosphate, and save yourself some bucks and still get, you know, a great power source that will last you a very, very long time. Like I said, they're going to come with with uh, full warranties. So let's take a look at the log real quick, and I'll show you just how, the, how this has been working now into its first year. So looking at the uh, Victron solar charge controller app, you can see right now I've got 133 watts coming in. I've got actually 400 watts of solar tied into this system and it will max out at about 207 watts usually uh, in full sun. And you can see right there that we're not getting full sun, but it's the history that I wanted to show you, uh, the characteristics of this battery right here. And this is the log and I can just, you know, look at the past week or so, 10 days, uh, it has been, it goes back much further, but as you can see, you know, I easily get up to uh, full charge every single day. Some days you can see I use more power uh, as indicated by how much more it took to charge this thing up. Of course, I do not have a battery monitor on this like I do run with some of my other uh, systems, but this one, so here we are. We'll go down here and I'll show you a close up of what it looks like every day. So you can see that every day I'm putting about 400 to 500 watt hours back into this battery. The minimum voltage that it has uh, displayed is about 13.2. Every day you can see just above that, the max battery, it goes up to the preset on this Victron, which is 14.2. And straight across every single day, I get up to 14.2, hold it there in absorption for two hours, and then it allows it to just uh, taper those panels down and let it sit down at a float of 13.5. So, and, and then it shows you, you know, I haven't been uh, overworking this for where it's being used. You know, I'm pulling, you know, not a ton of power off of this, but it's working great. And I have put this in a different system before where I've asked a lot more of it. I have run a refrigerator. I've run a freezer off of that. Uh, currently, it's just in a in a room where uh, we're not using a ton of power, but this battery is just working absolutely as it should for about a year now. And because in, in this particular room, I'm not asking it to, to pull a thousand watts ever is why I, I can get by with a 375 watt pure sine wave inverter. Uh, I never really pull anything more than a couple of hundred watts off of it for everything that I'm running back in here. But yeah, the main point is used cells are not to be feared. And many, many companies out there, they are using used cells, of course. They're just not uh, promoting them as such. But when I first 
contacted Time USB about a year ago, I asked them a lot of pointed questions about uh, the history of the cells that they were packaging into this, and their answers were just so thoughtful and specific, and some of them were more technical uh, than I could understand, but most of it I could understand just fine. But yeah, Time USB, great battery, and we're excited that they've got another new line coming out, uh, and we're going to be reviewing that in the upcoming weeks. So I thought it'd be a good time just to kind of revisit their brand and let you guys know that I'm running two of these different kind of models every day. No issues. Keeping us in power. So like I do with all the batteries uh, that we run out here and that I've reviewed, I will periodically come back and give you guys an update. I know a lot of you guys are always thinking about getting some uh, batteries of this chemistry. So I just want to always be touching base on how these are working over time. And if I ever have any issues, never had an issue with a time USB whatsoever. And like I said in that original review I did of this battery, the amount of time uh, that they spent talking to me and explaining to me about the, you know, the second life of these cells, it all made good sense. And they back it up. So, yeah, I just got to share that along, pass that information with you guys so you know that. Yeah, and I just want to finish saying that actually all the companies I've ever dealt with out here with these batteries... Every single one of them, their customer service is really superb. Uh, they do try, really try to help you understand anything that you might not understand. And they will help guide you into being a little more energy independent. Come on, rain. Yeah, take all we can get right now. I don't care if the ground gets squishy. All right, everybody. Aloha. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you on the next one.